This feels like more than a clear coat. Remember, it's got to look natural. Trust me, they look perfect. Why are you still putting stuff on my lips? I'm trying to save them. They're drier than the Sahara. Desert. In the summer. Lillian! Yeah, I'm lot. Mm. Well, that tastes good. What is that? Is that, is that strawberry? Uh -huh. And now for a relaxing oh. earlobe massage. Oh, 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 she oh. might feel slight pressure. That's normal. You do not know how much tension builds up in those lobes, honey. Oh, oh, that's working. Uh -huh. That's it. Yeah. That's the one. Uh. And now for the best part. Great. A Himalayan <sighs> temple massage. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Oh, Rocky, likey. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Uh, what what are you what are, what are you putting on my head? Nothing. It's just a, a hair follicle accentuator thing. Well, what does it do? Oh, you'll see. Okay. And open your eyes in three, two, one. Welcome back to Calculated Confusion Exposed. Today we are going to be covering Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He, like others in previous videos, covertly pushed demonic agendas. The Rock and majority of celebrities serve as puppets to the elite. Most of these stars have been groomed for a long time. Dwayne Johnson's rise to fame came from wrestling. The Rock's father Rocky Johnson was a Canadian wrestler. The Rock's prominence in the media today was not by chance. He was groomed since birth. We are going to take a look at him selling out for the gay agenda and several other peculiar things that allude to Freemason Devil. The nightmare's just begin. Oh. You want a shot at the title? Is that it? You feeling lucky? Huh? Hey. Maybe I am. Hold these, baby. I can't see it. Give them back. That's, it was a stupid idea. That's insane. Oh, oh yeah. You want a piece of this? Another great comedian said that, you know, in the industry, they tried to make him wear a dress. Have you ever ran into that with, with scripts? And, and is that something that, you know, you wouldn't do, you know, for? for... Uh, I definitely haven't ran into to put on the dress. Uh, I mean, you know, you, you have to have, you have to have boundaries. You have to have limits that you refuse to cross. Uh, you know, for me, I know what they are. Uh, they've yet to been challenged, so, you know, I don't have to speak on them. I was asked to dribble a basketball on the talk show this morning. I you look said good no to that. <laughs> not that that was a dress, but I was like, no, I'm going to look stupid. You know, at the end of the day, you got to know that you're a brand. I'm yeah. a brand. Uh, you need to protect your brand at all times. When things happen that can possibly affect your brand, your your brand can be diminished, and and you don't you don't want that to happen. So you know, protecting my brand is is definitely a priority. And from the looks of it, the new pope is not Turkson. The new pope is nine year old Oscar nominee Kavanshane Wallace. Wow! 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 I, I don't think anyone saw this one coming.
Well, I'm, I'm trying to concentrate, but Mr. O'Neill's ring. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's very <laughs> blatant. Can, can we get a close up on that ring? What is on there? That's a ring of my profession. You don't know nothing about that. Okay, well, can we get a close up on that there? What, you don't know nothing about that. What is the profession? Yeah, which profession are we talking about? Just look at it. Is it a legal profession? Of course it's legal. It's a ring of my profession. I'm trying to read it. Okay. Right, it's too many thousand dollars. Yeah, that's too bright. Oh, that's too, too bright. Go anyway. Oh, Mason, are you Mason? Of course I am. Okay. You probably you, <laughs> <that's a secret laughs> well, you probably gonna put your pinky out when you drink your drink. Right? Wow. Pinky out. You know, all the secret ceremonies with the candles and the everyone wears anyway. The Clippers. The Clippers. But that is impressive, Mr. O'Neill. I don't have a chance. Anyway, the Clippers. Oh yeah, of course. Those of you that don't. Calvin, you're next. I do not want to do this. Relax, Calvin. There are no wrong answers. Up. Down. Mm. What is that? What are you writing in your book? It's fine. Don't freak out. Nobody's freaking out. I just don't understand the rules of the game. Freaking out. Let's switch gears for a second, okay? Why don't we try a simple role-playing exercise? Calvin, you be Calvin, and I will become Maggie. Oh. I'm confused. It's called soul gazing. Stare into my soul, and I'll stare into yours. Maggie, does... Hey, shh. There's no talking. And don't look away. Stare into my soul. Babe, I'm not standing. Me and you, stay with me. I'm your wife. You are not my wife. Don't hey. oh, oh, oh. <gasps> How could you hit your wife? How can I? How can I what? You hit your wife. No, I... he hit me. Okay. He hit you. Okay. You hit us. I'm swaddling you. I know what you're doing. I'm swaddling you. I know what you. Come here. Oh God. You know what? We're leaving. I'm swaddling you. I know what you're doing. I'm swaddling you. I know what you... Come here. Oh, God! The Rock also has no issues pledging his allegiances. In a 2016 SNL skit about the side effects of prescription drugs he makes it clear. He says this randomly during the skit. Xantrex gave me my life back. Hail Satan. Hail Satan. Thank you to that geezer over there, Adam. He said, he said, uh, he said, I've got to find somebody who can who can be absolutely charisma free and reviled by everybody. So he went, that's got to be bail. Thank you to uh, Satan for giving me inspiration on how to play this role. Thank you to uh, Satan for giving me inspiration on how to play this role. You can even take a look at The Rock's logo and his clothing brand and he makes it pretty clear. This sign is a representation of the Baphomet. The Rock is fully aware of this. His career is riddled with demonic symbolism. In 2013 he was the only actor that signed on, for the movie Team Seal 666. Oddly enough, this movie was never released. Right, maintaining his status as one of the busiest actors in Hollywood, Dwayne The Rock Johnson has just signed on to star in the upcoming book adaptation SEAL Team 666. Halfway through SEAL training, Cadet Jack Walker, still green but showing incredi incredible promise, is whisked away to join four SEALs and their dog for a special ops mission. Walker soon finds himself in a whirlwind of otherworldly creatures and events as he discovers the true nature of SEAL Team 666. Battling demons, possessed humans, mass murdering cults, and evil in its darkest and most ancient form, the members of SEAL Team 666 have their work cut out for them. And it's not long before they realize that the threat isn't directed against the U.S. alone. An ancient and deadly cult has far bigger plans, and Walker is at the center of a supernatural conflict in which the entire world is at stake. John Byer Sell Johnson joining Team 666. There is not a sliver of this that I do not buy. Of course I buy this. A, 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 a SEAL military team specifically put together to fight demons? This is awesome. And then you put Dwayne The Rock Johnson into this? Of course this is... The final thing we are going to talk about YouTube doesn't prefer so we will try to be a little vague. 
But the point will be clear. During another SNL skit about the most evil invention The Rock portrays a role about a scientist that makes a very weird robot. Let's take a look. How do you even build a chiming robot? Well, that's a, um, that's a great question. What you do is you start by building a regular robot, uh, then you note that it continues uh, the cycle. Do you smell what The Rock is cooking? Um, I eat uh, children. I eat uh, children. <laughs> How old are you? So, oh, okay, uh, only to ten. Children and pineapples. Children and pineapples. I eat uh, children. <laughs> children and pineapples. <laughs> children and pineapples. Children and pineapples. I eat uh, children. <laughs> How old are you? So, oh, okay, uh, only to ten. <laughs> children and pineapples. I eat uh, children. I eat uh, children. <laughs> children and pineapples. <laughs> children and pineapples. <laughs> children and pineapples. Children and pineapples. He told me about a drug called adrenochrome that could produce a high beyond any other. And unlike those other drugs, there are no ill effects. Quite the contrary. There are substantial benefits from consuming it. Greater health, increased vivacity, and a host of other, smaller effects. Combine those with an intense sense of euphoria and you have a substantial demand. The issue is this. It is a derivative of the chemicals produced by the human body when it is under intense and measurable fear. these days. This is the adrenochrome molecule. And this is a soccer ball. This is the adrenochrome molecule in Monsters, Inc. Now, oxidized adrenochrome is epinephrine, produced by the adrenal glands when a person experiences fear. The same kind of fear in Monsters, Inc. In which monsters scare little children by going through doors at night when the child is asleep and scaring the child and in turn it yields the substance and I believe the substance they are depicting is in fact adrenochrome and I believe demons feed off this fear you know the adrenochrome comes from the adrenal glands which sit atop the kidneys kids and this is repeated over and over again in Monsters Inc the kids and studies show that the pineal gland is directly affected by the release of epinephrine from the adrenal glands and the pineal gland is affected by adrenaline slash adrenochrome by the adrenal glands and isn't it weird that the hormone epinephrine contains the word pine like the pineal gland.
329, the number of missing children in Virginia. 13-year-old Selena Salazar from Portsmouth has been missing since April 15th. She lived with her adopted mother, two brothers, and a sister. Selena's mother believes she was lured by someone online. We had a nice night. We made a spaghetti dinner. We watched two movies. She was laughing and enjoying a family night with us. And then the next morning, she was gone. The reasons why children vanish vary. Search and Rescue Coordinator Mark Eggeman says many are considered runaways, and these cases normally resolve themselves. When I look at uh, missing children's stats, a lot of them are back within a week. Uh, they may disappear for a couple of days, but you know they're back within a week. In other cases, can be far more complicated to solve. We see kids that uh, are coerced and manipulated into taking off with a stranger, which is the most at-risk thing. That's the pipeline into sex trafficking. 84% of reported missing children come from high-density areas, including... Hey, CJ. Hey. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, guys. I, I got to tell you, well, it, it is so good seeing you guys. Uh, Senator Harris, it's a pleasure to finally see you and finally meet you. Thank you. It is a pleasure to see you. I'm a huge fan of everything from Fast and Furious, all of them, to Jumanji. So thank you for your work. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, well, thank you. Thank you for your work. Um, let me start off by saying, guys, I've been a lucky guy over the years in, in my life and my career to, to have been part of and participated in some real defining moments. And I have never publicly endorsed a presidential candidate or a vice presidential candidate um, in my life, over my career. So I figured let's kick this conversation off this way by me officially uh, publicly endorsing you both uh, to become president and vice president of our great country. The US election is right around the corner and it's an election that has got most of Hollywood talking. Talking politics is usually a big no-no in show business, but not this election. It seems everybody has their say, whether it's urging people to vote or simply just stating who they prefer. There are countless Hollywood stars endorsing Joe Biden, including Hailey Bieber, J-Lo and partner Alex Rodriguez, and Billie Eilish to name a few. We've seen Taylor Swift become more publicly political in the past few years, and in an interview with V Magazine, she confirmed she is pro-Biden and Harris, stating, the only way we can begin to make things better is to choose leaders who are willing to face these issues and find ways to work through them. America has a chance to start the healing process it so just desperately needs. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, nice to see you guys. Dad's gonna stand pretty close. Don't tell me what you have to He's having fun, thank you, sir. No serious guys. Do you remember what I told you? Smile. No, not smile. No right. date till you're 30. Alright. <laughs> okay. okay, there we go. Well, let's get the senator in here. <laughs> <laughs> 